Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, programmers. How are you tonight? Hi, Flor. Hello, good evening. Can you listen me? Hello. Hello, good evening. How can you listen me? Hello, 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 Aida. Hello, Maria Magdalena. Yes. Yes, can you listen me? Se congeló la pantalla en un momento. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm so sorry for that. Let me see what is happening. Pero se le congela la pantalla. Mm. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to fix this. Hello, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, give me a second. I'm trying to fix this. Okay. Se oye cortado. Mm, ok, sí, probablemente es mi internet connection. Y ya se quedó have... congelado otra vez. Oh my God. Se le está cayendo quizás red o algo, no sé. Pero sí se oye entrecortado y no se oye muy así. Bueno, Mm -hmm. Let me check what happens with the red. Le mando el link. Okay, now let's see. Is it better now? Yes, okay. Okay, that's great. Uh, uh, welcome to the class. Uh, good evening to you today. So, uh, how was your day today? Did you have a great day? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm fine. You? Ah, I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. A ver, welcome to the class. So, Maria Magdalena, Ana Gabriela. Thank Kelly, you, Mr. Flor. So, be welcome to the class. Uh, Hi. Nice to see you again. Good night, everyone. So let's see, we have been studying how to describe people, right? And for tonight, we are going to continue with this topic. At this time, we are going to study modifiers. We are going preposition, and we're going to study preposition, and also we are going to study a gerund, right? 
So let's say, do you like cloth? Do you like to buy cloth a lot? ¿Les gusta la ropa? ¿Les gusta comprar mucho ropa? Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. but. Yes. But I, yes, but I don't have money. But <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, I don't Just have to. like it. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, what are your favorite, uh, your favorite clothes? I mean, do you like dress? Do you like jeans? Do you like shorts? Is sandals, boots, high heel shoes? Do you like jeans and blows? Okay, I like jeans and blows. So we use the way like. I like. I like. I like. I like jeans. Okay, I like jeans. That's great. And let's see, Maria Magdalena. I prefer the t-shirts and jeans. Mm, free plaids. Yes, and shirts. In shorts. Okay, that is excellent. Yeah. And Gabriela, what are your favorite clothes? Mm, I prefer wear a black black jeans, well, black jeans and all about a black black dress. Okay, I can see that your favorite color is black. Okay. And red, but I oh. prefer black. Okay, black and red, but my favorite is black. Excellent, Anna, that's great. So, Kevin, tell me, Kevin, what are your favorite clothes? Uh, my, fav my favorite clothes uh, uh, t shirts and perfumes and shoes. Okay, that is excellent. So, shoes, which one do you prefer, sandal or sneakers? Uh, the pen t-shirt. Uh, if is for 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 work. Uh, in the in the day, uh, sneakers. But uh, it's a uh, it's a, a situation for a for formal situation. Uh, uh, shoes. Uh, formals. Okay, so you say formal shoes, that is great. Formal shoes. About, huh? What about the gear? Do you prefer sandals or sneakers? Uh, sneakers, it's better. Okay, it's better. So, Flor Ramos, Aida, Maria, Magdalena, Ana Gabriela, and also Abel, uh, do you prefer sandals or sneakers? I prefer sneakers. Sneakers, really? Me too, me too, I prefer sneakers. Okay, and what about high heel shoes? Do you like to wear high heel shoes? No, I don't like it. Oh, you don't like them? Mm. Uh, I can see that. Okay, and now let's see. And glasses, do you like sunglasses? Yes, yes I, I like. Can. Okay, what about cap? Do you like cap? Mm. Les gusta yes, I'm sorry. No. Yes, no, no. the brain. A lot. No, no. Okay, Kevin say yes, a lot. I like them a lot. Okay, that is excellent. So the clothes that we wear and the accessories that we wear too, uh, it is another way to describe people, right? Eh, las cosas que llevamos puestas es otra manera de describirnos, ¿verdad? Let's see, for example, you say, who is Flor? And you say, the woman who, or the woman wearing glasses, the woman wearing glasses, eh, la mujer que está utilizando lentes. Entonces, you say, who is Aida? And you say, uh, the woman in light blue t-shirt, in light blue t-shirt. And you say, who is Kevin? ¿Quién es Kevin? And you say, the man wearing a suit. Bueno, well, ahí está, ¿verdad? En una foto con un traje de man wearing a suit. Eh, entonces, esa es otra manera que podemos utilizar, ¿verdad? O you say, the woman with glasses. La mujer con lentes, ¿verdad? Eh, o next to, las preposiciones las utilizamos. The man who is, the man next to the window. El hombre que está a la par de la ventana. 
the woman sitting on the table, la mujer sentada en la mesa. Then, son otras maneras que utilizamos para describirlo. Y eso es lo que vamos a aprender el día de hoy. So, let's start with this. Eh, let me show you the presentation. Let me see what it is. Okay, here it is. Let me share with you. Just give me a second. Oh, here we go. So the topic for tonight for the class number 11 is this one. Modifiers, gerunds, and prepositions. Okay, I'm sharing with you the presentation for tonight. Uh, are you able to see it? Let me know, please. Can you see the presentation? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay, thank you so much. So we have modifiers, gerund, and preposition. So welcome to the class number 11, and this is the objective for tonight. In this session, you will listen to a dialogue where two people use modifier with participle and also preposition. And we are going to learn how to use them. So, but first, let's see this vocabulary. Uh, in the public eye, it says this fashion on the street. So look at this, we have the three ways to dress, classic, cool and casual, and funky. So which one do you prefer? Do you like to dress classic? Or do you like to dress cool and casual or funky? And then we have this vocabulary here, bottom down shirts, belt, dress shoes, and black. And we have jacket, sweater, cargo pants, and tennis shoes. That is cool and casual. Then we have t-shirt, a purse, plate shirt, a striped tight, and also sneakers, right? So that is funky. And which clothing items do you wear almost every day? You, Maria Magdalena. Which clothing items do you wear almost every day? Well, almost every day, um, I think I'm cool and casual, but sometimes I'm very funky, <laughs> very, very funky. Okay, that is great. That's nice. So let's see, Aida, which clothing items do you wear almost every day? Jeans, skirts, t-shirts, blouses, dress. Okay. Hello, teacher. Um, my case is the planes. It's my favorite clothes. Uh, okay. You say jeans? Mm, maybe. Maybe jeans. Oh, okay. And what about you, Alfredo? Which clothing items do you wear almost every day? Okay, so is working. Uh, again, so tell me, Kevin, which clothing items do you wear almost every day? ¿Qué artículos de ropa usa casi todos los días? Uh, I, I wear almost every day t-shirt, uh, t-shirts, uh, and shorts, uh, no sé cómo se dice uh, chanclas. Oh, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, uh huh, and, and shoes. And shoes. Okay, that is excellent. What are the three more things you like to wear? Okay, now choose three, just yes, three. What are the three more things you like to wear? What is the three cosas que más le gusta utilizar? Abel, can you tell me what are the three more things you like to wear? I would like sandals. Uh, sure, uh, t-shirt. Okay, excellent. What about you, Anna? Uh, I like to wear um, um, tennis, 
and pants and t-shirt. That's all. Okay, excellent, nice. Now let's see, what's your style? Do you prefer classic, cool and casual or funky? Flor? Your microphone? Your microphone, Flor? Turn on your microphone. Ah, mi favoritos, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah, bye. Es... Short in my house. Short, este, sandals, y blouses. In blouses. Okay, that is excellent. I can see that you prefer to look cool and casual. Uh, okay, that is great. So now let's go with this. After reading this vocabulary, let's continue with this. This is the grammar focus for tonight. Modifier with participle in preposition. So now let's see here. Uh, who's Raúl? We are looking for this man, who's Raul. So you say, he's the man, he's the man. So that is the modifier, right? The man, that is a modifier. And which one is Raul? ¿Cuál de ellos es Raul? Hay un grupo ahí de personas que dice, which one is Raul? He's the one. Okay, so los modifiers son aquellas palabras que utilizamos cuando no conocemos el nombre de alguien, o cuando queremos referirnos a una persona sin decir el nombre. Entonces dice, he's the man, he's the one. Él es el hombre, es aquel. He's the woman, he's the tall one, they're the people, they're the one. Ok, uh, cuando vemos un niño, ¿cuál es el niño que se cayó? Y usted lo presenta, él es el que se cayó. He's the kid who fell down, is the kid, él es, entonces ese de kid es el modifier, en este caso tengo the man and the one, si es ella utilizamos the woman, the tall one o the one, y si es en plural, debe say the people, las personas, they are the people, eh, or they are the one, ellos son, they are the one. And after this, after the modifier, we use participles. Utilizamos participles. ¿Cuáles son los participios? All the verbs that end in I in D. Los verbos que terminan en I in D form. Eh, let's see, for example, wearing and talking. So you say, who's Raul? He's the man wearing a green shirt. Él es el hombre que está usando una camiseta de color. What color is green? Verde. Ok, nice. So, then, preposition. We use the following preposition. With, in, next to, on. So, you say, who's Liz? We are looking for Liz. Who's Liz? She's the woman with short black hair. So, ella es la mujer con cabello corto y negro. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? ¿Cuál de ellas es Julia? He is the tall one in jeans. Este in es una preposición. Ella es la mujer alta en jeans. Who are the Smith? We are looking for this family, right? Who are the Smith? They are the people next to the window. Son las personas que están a la par de la ventana. So next to is the preposition here. And which one are the Smith? They are the ones on the coat. ¿Quiénes son los Smith o cuáles de ellos son los de la familia Smith? Eh, ellos son los que están en el sillón, sobre el sillón, on the coat. So, in this way, we use participle and preposition to talk about people, right? To describe people. So, let's see. Modifier with participle and preposition. Modifier is a word or group of words which specifies or modifies a noun or a pronoun. In this case, we have the man, the one, the girl, the woman, the one, the people, and the ones. This yes, plural. Participle is the ing form of the verb. So dancing, wearing, standing, talking. Those are the participles. Preposition. 
a preposition is a word which is used to show relationship between two persons, two places, or in two things. A example, with short black hair, in jeans, in dress, in sandals, in boots, right? in, in shirt, in shorts, so next to next to the window, next to the door, next to the television. Look at the following example again. At Matt is the one he is wearing black sunglasses. At Matt is the one wearing black sunglasses. I have two sentences. Ahmad is the one. He is wearing black sunglasses. Then I can make just one sentence and I say, Ahmad is the one wearing black sunglasses. Ahmad is the hombre utilizando lentes, ¿verdad? Para el sol de color negro. Abraham is the man. He is standing behind the coat. And then I have these two sentences again. Akhan is the hombre. Y él está atrás del sillón. Then you say, Akhan is the man standing behind the coat. So I made one sentence, right? To refer to this person, Akhan. So let's practice a little bit. Can you please turn on your camera? I can see Anna, I can see Flor, I can see Aida. Mm, okay. Okay, let's see. Jose Daniel, which one is Maria Magdalena? Which one is Maria? And then you say, you use a modifier. She is. She, uh, she is between Ana Gabriela and Kevin Eduardo. Okay, great. Then you say, uh, she is the woman between Ana Gabriela and Kevin Eduardo. Nos faltó el modifier. She is the woman. Ella es la mujer en medio de Kevin Eduardo y Ana Gabriela. Very good job, Jose. So, who's Kevin? Uh, Abel and Aida, teacher. Ah, uh, ok. Bye. En este caso, Kevin no puede responder. Estoy buscando a Kevin. Who's Kevin? ¿Quién es Kevin? Pueden decirme sin oh. decirme. So you say, Kevin is the man. Kevin is the one. Y okay. una característica para identificar. Kevin is the, Kevin is the man uh, wearing black uh, black t-shirt excellent sentence thank you so kevin is the man wearing a black t-shirt that's great great sentence very good so who's jose daniel who is jose daniel the man as curly i'm sorry I don't see very well. Ah, okay, but the center is okay. Oh, it's okay. nice. So you say, Jose Daniel is the man with curly hair. Is the man with curly hair. Eh, okay, es el hombre con cabello colocho. Y así ya lo identificamos. Jose is the man with curly hair. So who's Flor? Who is Flor Ramos? Anybody? You say she's the one or she's the woman. She's the woman wearing black a black glasses. Okay, she's the woman wearing black glasses. Black um, glass. Okay, black contact lenses. You say. Contact lenses. Ah, okay. She is the woman wearing contact lenses. Excellent. That's nice. So who's Maria Magdalena? Who is Maria Magdalena? She is the woman with a long, curly, uh, black hair. Okay, excellent sentence. Thank you. She is a woman with long, curly black hair. Excellent.
excellent. He's the woman. That's nice. Now, who is Aida? She is the woman with a blue shirt. Okay, that's great. She is the woman wearing. Nos faltó el verbo ahí, el dieron. She is the woman wearing a blue blouse. A blue blouse. In this case. Okay, that was excellent. So in this way, we identify people, right? We use preposition with, for example, in also we use dieron, right? To say wearing, el que está comiendo, el que está bailando, el que está viendo televisión, el que está durmiendo, el que está durmiendo. Entonces, ahí utilizamos el gerundio. And who is Ana Gabriel? Who is Ana Gabriela? I'm not single. <laughs> I'm not <a> single. <laughs> then you say, uh, she is the woman paying attention. Es la mujer que está poniendo atención. She is the woman wearing a bracelet. She is the woman wearing a bracelet. She is the woman uh, with the blue pencil in his, her hand. Ok, entonces así identificamos a las personas usando modifiers en gerón en also preposition. But let's continue practicing this. Let me show you the, the next example here. I'm sharing again my screen with you. Can you please tell me if you can see it? Yes, we can. Thank you so much. So, example, he's the man dancing in the living room. He is the man dancing in the living room. She is the one wearing a dress. He is the Japanese woman with dark hair. He is the one in white pants. She is the tall person next to the window. Any volunteer who wants to help me reading this example? Any volunteer? One, two, three. Maria Martinez, can you help me? Ay, it was too late. <laughs> okay, Jose Daniel. Let's see Jose Daniel. Um, he's the man dancing in the living room. She's the one wearing a dress. She's the Japanese woman with dark hair. He's the one in white pants. She's the tall person next to the window. Excellent, thank you. Any other volunteer? One, two, three, four, five. Me, teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Let's do it. Okay. She's the man dancing in the living room. She's the one wearing a dress. She's the Japanese woman with dark hair. She he He's the one in bright pants. She's the tall person next to the window. Okay, thank you. So, do you have any question about this? Is it difficult or easy? Uh, yo tengo una, teacher. Tell este, me what is the question. Lo que quiero entender es eh, eh, en qué contexto es cuando se ocupa el eh, the one. Uh, the one eh, solo sustituye al nombre, ¿verdad? Para decir ese. The one, the one wearing a sunglasses. Entonces, ese que está utilizando, o esa, ¿verdad? So, entonces, Como que de una forma no más único. informal. Uh, no es informal, sino que estamos sustituyendo al nombre porque no lo conocemos. Ah, no ok. Lo... Como decir único. Mm, ajá, ¿verdad? es como decir aquel, ese, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. esa, aquella. Porque no conocemos el nombre, entonces por eso lo sustituimos con ese modifier. That's the reason why. Okay. Entonces, the one lo podemos traducir como ese, ¿verdad? aquel, a esa o aquella. En ese contexto lo utilizamos. Ok, teacher. Sí. Thank you. Is it clear? Ok. Yes. Ok, very good. Now we are going to see this here in this part. We have this example. Look at the picture. Where are they? Where are these people? In a party. Ah, okay, they are in a party. 
So do they look sad or very happy? Happy. They look happy, happy. dancing, dancing, swing, swing. Okay, that's great. So they are dancing, they are drinking, they are having fun, talking. They are, they are talking to, they are talking to each other. So they are enjoying this part, right? This party, right? So let's see. Uh, Liz and Raul are talking. And this is the conversation. Listen. Okay, here we go. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, now let's see. Liz uh, recommends to Raul to speak with Julia, but Raul uh, doesn't know who Julia is, right? Uh, Raul no sabe quién es Julia, so he gives him some clues. Le da algunas pistas. Uh, then to say, she's the tall one in jeans. Es aquella, ¿verdad? Alta, utilizando jeans. She's standing near the window. Está parada, ¿a dónde? En la ventana. En la ventana. Window. The next to the window. Window. This window. Near, what's the meaning of near? Cerca. Cerca, 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 cerca. A la par de la ventana. Cerca. Cerca. Standing near the window. Where's the meaning? Eh, she couldn't make it. Está diciendo como que no pudo venir, no pudo hacerlo. Uh, she couldn't make it. En este contexto es como no pudo venir. But she couldn't make it. No le fue posible venir. But she couldn't make it. Yo entiendo, no. teacher, como que le estuviera diciendo, ella, ella, este, no podría hacerlo. Ah, uh, ok, literalmente sería así, ¿verdad? Ella no pudo hacerlo, pero como... Es que es por eh, el contexto. Ajá, when we translate ajá. into Spanish, we need to see the context to her, right? So in this context, ella no pudo lograrlo. Ella no lo logró, no pudo venir, mm. no pudo venir. Así lo traduciríamos en este contexto. She couldn't make it. No pudo, no logró venir. Pudo venir. Then she went to a concert with Alex. Fue a un concierto con Alex. So now let's listen again and we're going to practice this. And who's Julia then? Pueden marcar ahí who's Julia. Who's Julia? You can grow on the screen. You can write or draw here. I can see Aida Marisol. You just pick up the option. Usando oh. el, la que usa las gafas. O las lentes. Can you use glasses? Uh, Why the glasses over here? Can you, can you do this? Yes. Yes. He's wearing okay. jacket. Okay, can you mark who Julia is? Oh, yeah, I can see here. She is Julia, right? She's Julia. Oh, that's nice. I can see a check here. That is great. So, nice. Listen again, this conversation. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. 
Okay, now let's find somebody here. Uh, she's the woman wearing sandals in a purple dress. Can you please check? Okay, excellent, Aida Marisol. She is the woman. Okay, then he is the... He is... She is the tall. He is the man wearing white mm. pants. He is the man wearing white pants. Okay, nice. And who is Liz? He is the woman with short black hair. Okay, excellent. She is Liz, right? Then who's let's see. Who's Peter? He is the man dancing in the living room. Okay, Anna, he is a Peter, right? He's the man dancing in the living room. That is great. So I need some volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to participate tonight? Me, teacher. Oh, thank you, Aida. I have Aida. And anybody want? Me, teacher. Thank you, Kevin. So, Aida, you are going to read Liz part and Kevin Raul part, please. Let us start then. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she co couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She's does now any here. Julia, which one? Is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she she's she's the tall one in jeans. She's straight near the window. Oh, I did like it to meet her. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much. You did an excellent job in this part, but I need uh, to repeat some more. Let's see, for example, in this part, uh, let me see. Uh, where is it? Let me see. Oh, no, no. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. And this other one, anyone, anyone okay. here. She doesn't anyone. know. Anyone here? Anyone here? Okay, excellent. She doesn't know anyone here. She doesn't know anyone here. Okay, okay and look at this question. What is the meaning of this question? Which one is she? Which one is she? Which one? Can I help? Okay. Can I know? Well, there you say. Okay. Which one is she? Okay, thank you. Which one is it? Thank you so much. And let's go over the next slide. Thank you. Hi. Okay, let me erase this. Okay, now it is clear here. So look at this picture. There is a group of the characters. And I have the following question Who is your sister? Imagine that one of these girls is your sister and tell me a sentence, please. And we're going to try to guess. And you say, my sister is the woman. My sister is the one. And you say, wearing. Or with. So anyone here who wants to try? Who is your sister? My sister is the woman. Okay, my sister is the woman and we have. Oh, okay, my sister is the woman wearing a hat. Wearing uh, a hat. Yes, but there are two girls wearing the a black, hat. The black, black hat. 
Okay, can you please mark the Aida sister, please? Marking an imagine who is Aida sister. Teacher, just a moment, I can. Ah, okay, thank you, Anna. She is Aida's teacher, yes. right? Oh. Okay, you say she is the woman wearing a black hat. She is the woman wearing black books. She is the woman wearing a black blouse. Too. Okay, now let's see the next question here. Um, who is your cousin? Who is your cousin? ¿Quién es tu prima? Who is your cousin? So let's pick another girl in this picture. And then you say the same thing. My cousin is the woman wearing. My cousin is the woman with. My cousin is the woman with a long blonde hair okay. and, and wearing. <coughs> I don't know what is the color, beige or uh, high brown. I don't know. High brown uh, sweater. Okay, you say my cousin is a woman with long hair and she is wearing a beige sweater. Who is it? Can you guess? Let's try to guess and mark the girl. Who is? Who is? Who's the girl? Is she is the woman with long hair and she's wearing a beige, beige, say right, beige sweater. Then pick up the girl, please. Okay, thank you. And that is the girl. And then let's move on to the next question. Who is your wife? And you say my wife. Um, my wife say she is the woman with short hair. In order to she is the one wearing a black blouse. Pueden marcarla. She is the woman with short hair. She is the woman wearing a black t-shirt or a black blouse. Look at the picture and find them. Find her, please. Oh, thank you, Ana Gabriela. Yes, she is, right? And finally, number four, uh, who is your girlfriend? You say, my girlfriend is the one wearing a blue blouse and black pants. Ah, okay, excellent, Aida. Yes, she is. Now let's move up to another group of people here. Oh, who is your mom? You say, my mom is the one wearing a yellow, a yellow blouse. And also is the woman, is the woman with a brown long shirt. Okay, that is excellent. She's the woman. And let's go to this other group of people. Let me erase everything in this. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Who is your brother? Anyone see it? Okay, number one. Uh, my brother mm -hmm. is the man uh, play, playing the guitar. Okay, excellent. So, my brother is the man playing the guitar. Thank you. That is a good sentence. And who is your best friend? Anyone there? Okay. My best friend is she's waiting the 
black blouse. Ah, okay. My best friend is the woman wearing a black blouse. Then can you check, please, the girl? Okay, excellent. That is the girl. So my best friend is the girl wearing a black blouse. Who is your sister? Who is your sister? And you say my sister is my sister is the woman the reading book. Oh. Okay, excellent. My sister is the woman reading a book. Read. My sister is the Okay, woman. my sister is the woman reading a book. Reading a book. Okay, excellent. That's great. And let's move to this. Look at the next picture. And who is Karen? Can I have the description? Can you read and can you please check who is Karen in the picture? Okay, yes, you're right, she is. Karen is the girl wearing white sneaker and brown sweater. Nice. Second, who's Linda? Who's Linda? See, Linda is the woman sitting next to the man in white sweater. Okay, great. Uh, great, she is right. She is Linda. Who is Melanie? Then Melanie is the girl wearing sunglasses. Melanie is the girl wearing sunglasses. Okay, very good. Thank you, Flora. She's Melanie. Yes, she is Melanie. So, do you have any question about this topic? Question? Question How to use a modifier, gerund, and also preposition? to identify people or to describe people? No question. Okay, um, this is the end of the presentation, but not the end of the class. Now let's go to the platform, please. And we are going to solve an exercise then. So here we go, let me see what it says. Okay, here we, we are working in section number four. What does she look like? That was something. And it has three exercises. And for today, we are going to solve this one. We are going to solve this exercise. So are you ready? Okay, let me to solve this. The instructions say choose the sentences using modifier with participle or preposition correctly. And I have number one, Clara is the tall guy. He is wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. The first Clara, one. Clara the first. is the, the tall way wearing a button shirt, shirt, but down shirt and cargo pants. Yes. And what is a button down shirt? What is that? That one shirt. Yes, mm. okay. so the bottom what? down shirt. Mm. Camisar de botones. Or... Yes, you're right. That is the meaning of that. Camisa de botones. Bottom down shirt. Thank you. And you say this is the answer. A. Clara is the tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. Second one. I have the following sentences. Adam and Lowe are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. So what is the right option in this? Adam and Lou and Lou are the good looking called talking Tom. Talking to Tom. And you say the first one or the second? The first one. The first one, okay, nice. So we have Lynn is a young girl. She is in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. 
is lean is the young girl. She is in the high teacher and blue jeans. Mm -hmm. And the option are lean is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Lean is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. What's the right answer there? No, it's the first one, sorry, the first one. Lina is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. When you say uh -huh. A. And let's see number four. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. And we have the option. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. And Jessica is the attractive women, women and sitting to the left of Antonio. What is the right the answer in this? The first one too? The first one, because it's singular. And so. number five, AG is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa TV. Let me know, please, what is the answer there? <clears throat> the first one. The first one, too. AJ is the serious looking boy listening to his new Santa TV. Okay, let's send the answer and let's check it then. And yes, you are right. 34 of 34 points. Congratulations. You did an excellent job in this exercise. What about the following two exercises? Have you already solved them? We have a listening exercise and we have this other one here. Okay, we have already solved this, right? Okay. Yes or no? Um, yes, teacher. Yes, right. We have a yes, but I but I had a mistake in the number four sentence. In the number four, my sister yes. hair is medium late. So what was the question here? My sister hair is medium late. ¿Cuál era la pregunta para esta respuesta? Ah. When how, it... how long is her hair? Okay, how long is my sister hair? Let's check it. Okay. And it wasn't. So how long is my sister hair? Okay, you can say you can use this right. How long? How long? How long is your sister? How long is your sister? How long okay. is your sister? Okay, that is the right one. How long is your sister? In without the question mark. Seeing el signo de pregunta porque ya está acabado. And okay. I was typing it. So how long is your sister? That is. So do you have any question about this section? Any other question about this section? No question? Okay. Uh, the last activity, just to finish the class. So uh, tell me sentences and we are going to guess uh, who you are talking about. Okay. Digan oraciones para adivinar de quién están hablando. Okay. Uh, the rest of the classes, you can turn off your camera to see you tonight. You pueden activar su camera. Just for the last activity, you are going to tell me some sentences and we are going to guess. Turn on your camera, please. Any volunteer to start? Oh, I can see Jose Daniel. 
Thank you so much. The men's wear or use the watch. Ah, okay. Uh, he is the man wearing a watch. Who is him? Is Kevin? Uh, a ver, is, is he Kevin? Yes. Yes, okay. Think for another sentence. Tell me another sentence. We are going to get. Who is the person wearing the blue shirt? Oh, she's the person. She's the person wearing a blue t-shirt. Oh, sorry. Who is the woman wearing the blue shirt? Ah, okay, yeah. okay, nice. She is the woman wearing a blue t-shirt. T-shirt. Who is, who is, who is? Tell me, tiene, who is? I you. Aida? Me. Ah, José Daniel, are you talking about Aida? Yes, she's all right. Abel, where are you? Are you in the garden? I can see some trees there. Ok, ah. let's see. Ah, eh, que me vaya diciendo una oración para tratar de adivinar, se puede ir desconectando. Any word to start? It's a sure. Ah, ok, Kevin, let's go. Okay, uh, he is the he is the man in the orange room. Uh, okay, he is the man in an orange room. The man is Jose Daniel. Jose Daniel, okay, excellent sentence, Kevin. Thank you. So he is the man in an orange room. Thank you, Kevin. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Oh, no, me quiero ir, teacher. <laughs> ah, okay. You are going to listen to your classmate. That is great. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Anybody? Any other volunteer? He's the woman. He's the man. Yeah. She's the woman with the blue red background. Blue red. Blue red. How do you say desenfocado? Blur, blur, blur. Ah, okay. But um, another clue because they have two girls with a blur uh background. Okay, and and also wearing sunglasses. No glasses. And also she's wearing sunglasses. Oh my god, they both are wearing sunglasses too. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Eh, creo, eh. How do you say pulsera? Bracelet. 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 Okay, and Ana, wearing bracelet. Ana Gabriela. Ana Gabriela. Okay. Sí. Flor. Son las pulseras en otra mano. That's deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Qué difícil estuvo eso. Ah, okay. Yes. You, did, you did a great job. Very good. That was excellent. Thank you, Jose Daniel. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Hey, See what you. happened with the rest of the class? Anyone? Bye. Say, anybody? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, Aida. Tell me your sentence. Which is the man that showed the garden? I'm okay. That is great. Oh, who is the man who showed uh, his garden? Hello. Oh, podemos decir, he is the man in uh, his garden. He, he is, is the, the man, man in his in garden. In his garden. Él es el hombre que está en su jardín. Who is who is he? Abel. I guess ah. Abel. Okay, Abel is. Yes. Are you, Abel, are you in the garden or in the park? In the park? Yeah. In the garden? In the street? No, in the garden. 
Ah, ok. Ya ven, no se andan peleando con su señora a estas horas. Yeah. A dormir. Con los gatos. Sí, sí. Los sacan de la I drink with the dog. You are going to drink with your dog. Okay, uh, thank you so much for your participation and your attention during the class. Please don't forget to complete the exercises on the platform. It is important that you complete the section number four during this week. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, tomorrow. teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye.